All right, guys, what's up? I'm gonna make a video real quick on how to uh, change your tweeters out. It's, uh, mine is a 2007, I guess you would say 2000 and a half. It's this new body style, GMC Sierra. Yeah, I know my tire pressure is low, I need to check it, but. I uh, just switched out, I twist, switched out the speakers, the door speakers to these. The JBL GX600C, they're a component set by Harmon Carden. Uh, and they sound amazing. Uh, if you hadn't already done the door speakers in your truck, it's really, really simple. I'm sure you can find videos on how to take that door panel out, take the door speaker out, and basically uh, swap out the speakers. Uh, one thing I wanted to show you real quick is this component set, the uh, crossovers on it, are perfect fit. If you're looking for somewhere to put them, and I think it's a good spot. Right in there. Uh, I had to put, there's plastic behind here, so I got a screw here and a screw there that holds it together, or holds it in place on that side. And so this is obviously the wire that runs to the speaker there, and then this is running to the amp, and that runs all the way through there, down the bottom, all the way to the back, and I'll show you the amp in a minute. But, and the same thing on the other side. So if you're looking for a spot for your crossover, right there it is. But anyway, back to the tweeters. So. I've already actually taken the panel off and all it is is a seven millimeter screw that goes right in there and it bolts up the panel. The panel goes in like that. So you just take off that 10 millimeter or seven millimeter screw and the panel pops off. Um, to take the factory speed tweeter out, what I did was just unplugged it. Uh, it's connected to that plug there, just unplug it and then the tweeter is clamped on with that metal plug onto this little bar right there. So just unplug it, pull it off, and there's your factory tweeter. Take it off. With this set, these tweeters come with, I swear these things were made for this truck. I mean, everything is fit so far. The, the speakers fit perfect. The crossover, like I mentioned earlier, fit perfect in that little spot. And these tweeters, Here's a tweeter. Uh, come with all these different attachments, right? So there's one on here that looks like that. It's this one, right? The tweeter goes in there, and you have to. You, if you do get this component set, and I recommend you do because they sound really good, you'll take the tweeter, right? But is what you do is the tweeter will go inside this. Right, you gotta feed the wire through the bottom down there. So you feed the wire, the fire, the wire, the wire through it. Right, I'll just show you the one I've, I've already done. It's, it's easier to show you. One. This is the piece that I showed you. Right, I slid the first time I did it. I slid it in. Right, and it stopped. And there was a gap between here and the tweeter. There was a little gap. Right, when you take the tweeter, you have to twist the tweeter over to the right, and it locks it in and that closes that gap and that actually pushes the tweeter and it'll be flush with this little attachment. So now what you do is you take that tweeter and you just push it in that slot where the factory tweeter was and it fits in there. I mean, it just, it's snug. It's not gonna come out. There's the tweeter in. All I gotta do is wire it up. I'm gonna do obviously both sides and then uh, I'll show you guys whenever I get done. All right, guys, so uh, just want to show you real quick. That side's installed. I wanted to show you on this side real quick what you have to do. That side is a seven millimeter socket to take that piece off right there. This one, I just took my finger down and popped that off. This one's, this one's got this thing to hold it. This one does too, but I guess it just fell out of the, <clears throat> the little place in there. I'll put it back in there, but this side, it's a 10 millimeter socket. So once you take those two off, the panel will just pop off and we'll get to the tweeter. Just wanna show you guys real quick. Also wanted to show you the tweeters are come factory with these male connectors. So what I'm using is these, I have these female terminals and I'm just gonna button them up together, one there and one there. Then I'll use the, tie the speaker wire to the tip of the males right in there. And then uh, I'll use these uh, shrink tubes right here to uh, make sure they don't come apart. All right guys, there's my connections. 
So there's a tweeter inside, there's my connection. All I gotta do is take this panel, set it right back up there. I run the uh, speaker wire on the other side right through here. All right? Goes right behind this panel here. I don't know if I showed you this the first time, but there's the, uh, this is the other uh, crossover on the other side. See how it fits right there? And like I said, I just got a screw and it goes into that plastic right back there and it holds it right in place. So once again, that panel will go up here, speaker will run right through here, I'll feed it through here. And I'll just connect the tweeter to the crossover. We're set to go. I'll show you what it hey looks guys, like. So here we go, we're done. It's all installed. Put, put the handle back. Yeah, I still gotta clean the handle. But uh, there is that side. I decided, and these have a variable uh, plus 3D uh, zero or positive 3B. I just sat here and play with them. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave them at zero, three. I think plus 3D plus three is it's just a little too bright for me. So I'm gonna leave them where they are. Yes, I still have the stock radio. Um, but I'm gonna leave it for now until I decide I wanna what, what CD player I'm gonna go with. But everything's run through the stock stereo and I'll show you on the other side. Run to back here. to fix this mess back here but I just put it on they're running to the LC2i which is a two-channel LLC line out output, output converter um, that lets you keep all your factory wiring and everything there's the RCA the amp is pull amp out so you can see it it's an MB cord MB cord onyx it's an 80 watt amp it has four channel so what I have now is just have the two uh, the two front speakers running off the two one and two one channels one and two and then I have the subwoofer running off the channel three and it's bridged so as soon as I get found I'm gonna come back here and square all this stuff back here up but here's my subwoofer I have a 10 inch here right here W1 V2 and it sounds really really good but uh, I'm thinking about upgrading to the TW1 here soon if I can find a good deal on it so but so far that's what I have guys and uh, I would I was gonna make a video on how to install the subwoofer and the amp and all that but I'm sure you can find probably plenty of videos on that so and it's plain and simple where you run the power wire from the battery you run it down the side here all the way down I have the ground here where the seat belt ties into I took that off sanded it down tied it down to there grounded the LC2i and the power with the power box or power distributor box which you can't see but just tucked in back there and everything's running off of that so and everything sounds really good uh, I, I'm going with the same brand speakers JBLs but I'm going to put coaxial on the back and that's what's going to go on the back so there's the tweeters and they sound really good uh, let's see if I can make a song or put a song on here and I won't get copyrighted for when I'll let you hear what they sound like